Have you been building a Jurassic World Main Street or recreating Jurassic Park itself and have thought, I'd love to have an overgrown version, you know, like in Fallen Kingdom or Jurassic World for the Visitor Center? Well, your wish has been granted, folks. Hello everyone and welcome back to Jurassic World Evolution 2, where I do tips, tricks, glitches, and park builds and hopefully inspire you in your next park build. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can transform your basic damaged buildings in Jurassic World Evolution 2 into an abandoned structure taken over by nature without mods. So, first thing you want to do is, whatever building you need to use, you need to know first thing what elevation you want. Say you're in the square map, fully flattened out, and you want it to be in line. Well, the first thing you'll need to do is set your lagoon to the terrain level that when you lower its terrain it reaches like this so you see all the concrete wall because once it hits there then it has its own like border hitbox so let's say for example for this tips video we're going to use the um visitor center so first we need to elevate about there well let me actually double check something I can actually double check with this guy, so... So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. About nine. Nine or ten is what we want for the lagoon. So, let's just double check. Do we have that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11. Okay, so we need to go down one more. There we go. Flatten it back. And what we'll do is we'll just flatten this whole area. Oh, we got a helicopter. Hello. Hey, hey, this is Restricted Zone. What's the visitor helicopter doing around here? This is private security business. Or, you know, for our employers to know how to build these things. Okay, so we'll just use the um, basic, and I'll just set it to snap because it's much easier. And three should do. Now, the next step is you want to flatten your terrain all around it first. Make sure that you don't have a lump as of yet, which we do not. That's good. We'll need the lump in a moment. And by lump, if you want to know what I'm referring to, it's this little part, because this the hitbox of, like, basically, it's saying, hey, I'm here, I can't lower anymore. Alright, so, we'll just flatten... Yes, Rexy, I know this is your channel, but I'm your narrator, you hired me. Anywho, now, we will go as low as needed, so, there you go, you can see the hump a lot clearer. So we'll go... Let's start there. Alright, now let's flatten. And before we add the foliage, I'll show you what is going to happen with the buildings because of the hitbox. Alright, so, well, that spoils it. As you can see, because this terrain right here cannot, like, be altered because of the lagoons, this visitor center is trying to react. Now, if I build it right now, boom. It lines up perfectly with it, it's on the same level, and you got a big dip here which can't be altered. But, what this also benefits for is if we flatten it down. There we go. Is if we go into decorations, we'll need specifically. Well, actually, I haven't tested it, but you need um, items that can change with the terrain. So, specifically, like plants or something. Let's just use uh, this tree, for example. Now, it I might not have it low enough for this, but it should still work. Because, I mean, if you guys, you guys saw at the beginning, that whole visitor center there was overgrown beyond just one tree. So, if this doesn't work, then I'm going to be like, what the hell? Alright, so normally, as you can see... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Ah, so we're not low enough just yet, so let's fix that. Let's just go... About there, there we go. 
And I might need to move it a little bit out, because sometimes these guys are a little bit finicky on the elevated pl plane. It really depends on which one, but let's just go there. Alright, so, attractions. Alright, as you can see already, I haven't even adjusted this guy or anything. As you can see, he is blue, which is good. Now, if I go anywhere lower, like as you can see there, now it's like, wait a second, I can sense a disturbance in the forest. See what I did there? Instead of force, it's a, yeah, yeah, you get it. But, I want him to stay in level with here, which you can go any level that you wish as long as it's okay. Now, let's see how many I can go. So this is the first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth. Okay, we can go about seven down. Six or seven down. So that means we can add another, let's say, let's go with right about here. Maybe there, 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 there. All right, let's try that. Maybe that top one might be a little bit sensitive. And... Oh, yep, called it. He's a little bit too sensitive. All right, but the rest are good. The rest are good. And we can go about... Let's see, how far can it go before it dips? There we go. It dips right about there. So, what? Well, let's just plant it. Gotta boom. And there you go. You have a building overflown. Now, in this case, it's all a bit frontal, which realistically, in this case, you just have to be very selective with which trees you want and such and where they go. And also, in this case, it would be easier unless you want the front more because it's, well, let me start again. Breathe, Senor Austin, breathe. Since this is quite a long building, I mean, it's quite rounded right here, but it has this section right here that's um, making it more long than round now. Because of that, this building doesn't really work to get the whole feature. Unless you do it like sideways, like if I turn this like pointing that way, then you'd probably get most of it. But if you're doing it like this way or something, then you're gonna get half in this case. And I tested this with multiple buildings, including the visitor center, um, some of the facilities, the guest facilities. But if we leave here, I can show you how far you can push this, which I, I was gonna record the whole building of um, this, but I didn't want to, because mainly it's very frustrating. It's not frustrating, it's just really, really long. But, as you can see here on these trees, like this one, who's technically pushing his limits, but, you know, he's still in, but, I mean, these bushes, look at them. They're literally in the building. There's built, there's one right here, you can see here. Please, stop making the sad sounds, or else you're gonna make me cry. I haven't even watched Fallen Kingdom lately, and I still get tears. But as you can see, trees are in there. Or, you know, if I just go Demolish Tool, you can see all of these plants. Or if we go to the Visitor Center, which in this case, I, as you can see, there's some everywhere. Like, there, there's none in the front. Well, actually, no, there's one that made it out. Nice, not bad. And so, if you want to compare, like, this is it demol in the Demolish mode and, well, the Cosmic Damage, as they put it. But it's not... The, the damage feature is cool, but it's not really useful or, like, what we want. Because, like, here, this is it normally, and, well, no, we got to go into the demolish tool, and then boom. That's the only difference. The plants aren't overgrowing. None of the building looks, it looks like it's a few holes and pecks, nothing too serious. It could be fixed in five minutes. And doesn't really scream Fallen Kingdom damage. Whereas this one, with both, even if I turned this off, which actually if I turned it off, it'd probably be able to light up. But, I mean, just look at this. You got trees growing everywhere. And like, 
just from the back alone, it gives that Fallen Kingdom shot of Main Street where Claire and Owen are in the vehicles with Wheatley and his team, and it's like, bad memories, huh? Some were good, which, yeah, that was a badass shot. But, like, just look at it in comparison, like, just right here. Like, look at that. Like, why not do this? And if you're doing a full Main Street, I was gonna do the Lagoons guys, but then I realized I put this backwards because I was actually meaning for it to be that way, but because I had already done this guy, actually no, I did the um, Main Street first, which if you want my advice, first do the Main Street buildings, do this guy last, or whatever you do, mark where you want this guy, and then whatever you do, mark him, and then build accordingly to here. So, step one, this section Main Street, step two, these ones, a lagoon behind here, and then when you're done, work on the next, and then the next. And then for, like, you know, some of these buildings, I could have done these ones as well for the um, T-Rex enclosure, I do know, but I was I was falling behind on, like, getting this set up for, like, this. Because, like, look at this. This is far more Fallen Kingdom than this game normally allows us. As Rexy herself will agree as well. If I'm not going to be interrupted by a helicopter and a screaming T-Rex anymore, that is how you get the overgrown aesthetic that you've been missing for your Jurassic Park or Jurassic World abandoned style, which is probably one of the coolest little things, even if it's just in the front or something. Like, just imagine this enclosure. Like, you have this as the backdrop to an Indominus Rex enclosure. Like, that'd be pretty cool. Much better than it just being like, you know, a little a little window tint there, a little mess in front of the door. No, this is proper, like, overgrown. But, now that I gave you that, I'm gonna send you over to the outro, Austin. So, see you there! And here we go, guys, another amazing glitch being brought to light. And unlike some of the glitches where there may be limits based on their rules, this glitch is nearly limitless. As you can see with my Fallen Kingdom styled Main Street on display. And who knows, with more time we may find more amazing glitches much like this one, because after all, like Knoxville said once with his friends, we're scientists in this game. But until that time comes, I appreciate you choosing this video and I hope that it inspires you in your park builds in the future. Thank you so much for watching folks, maybe liking, subscribing, stay safe everyone, and remember that you are amazing, never forget that, and hopefully I'll see you next time. But until then, enjoy yourself.